So my name's Tanya. My daughter is Natalie, and Natalie has had Lyme, I know now, since she was five years old. She had sudden onset OCD at that time that nobody could explain. Um, didn't know that at the time. Took her to brain balance in West, Doc in West Springfield, trying to strengthen the part of her brain that might be weaker than the other part. And all of that, I think, did something, but didn't take care of it. Winter 2017, sick all winter. She went from looking like she had the flu, take her to the doctor, doesn't have the flu, looked like she had strep, took her to the doctor, doesn't have strep. Um, finally, one day, April 11th, 2017, pick her up at school crying hysterically, telling me she felt like she had 100,000 needles poking her back and her head was going to explode. Took her to the pediatrician. I said, I think this is a tick for an illness. He said, I'll test her, but if it's negative, I don't treat it. It was negative. We now have to rule out cancer. Contrast CAT scan, ultrasound, x-ray, urinalysis, more blood work, second blood work, negative. We know to take her to a Lyme doctor. We went and went um, to the Stram Center in Delmar, which is the only place that could take us right away, and put her on antibiotics. For two weeks, I thought she was going to die. She was so sick. I laid in bed with her for two weeks, saying to my husband, if she lives through this, I don't think she'll ever walk out of the house again because she didn't like bugs before. I developed an all-natural tick and mosquito repellent during this time for my family, gave it to my deep using husband who said, I'll try it, but if I get one bug, I'm going back to DEET. Two weeks later, he came home, he said, you have to market it. So I do, but I also educate people now about Lyme, about the misconceptions surrounding the disease, um, sending them to Lyme laser. Um, I think an important part that I want to say is she did get better with the antibiotics. For about six weeks, she was the best she'd been since she was five years old. And then it started coming out again, and she was due for her well child visit. So I took her back to the pediatrician, because you can't hold it against him. He has to follow the CDC. So it's like, okay, we took care of this. But I had my positive hygienics test. Took her back to the pediatrician. I write all over the questionnaire. She's got backache, she's got headaches. I think her Lyme disease is back. He not one time through the entire visit mentioned Lyme disease. He gets to the end, he says, she looks great. I said, well, she doesn't feel great. I said, I wrote it on the questionnaire. She's got a headache, she's got back aches. I said, I think her Lyme disease is back. He said, she never had Lyme disease. I said, well, I have a positive test for my Genix. I said, you know, we took her to a Lyme doctor. They sent the test to Igenix and it came back positive. He takes the test, he looks at it, he's like, that's not a positive test. I said, well, it says positive right there. And at that time, I didn't understand why, but it's because they recognize two bands that the other one doesn't. So he says, it's not a positive test. I said, doctor, and I won't say his name, um, the test that you gave her is about 30% accurate, and you don't tell anybody that. He said, oh, no, no, no. We don't use the word accuracy regarding testing the medicine. We use the word sensitivity, and that's a highly sensitive test. I said, well, guess what? Your highly sensitive test failed my kid twice. And he said, your daughter never had Lyme disease. She had normal adolescent growing pains. And I won't tell you the way the rest of the visit went. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> and the kids watched the whole thing. And when we left, I said, there's two reasons I'm glad that happened in front of you. One, that's what it looks like to advocate for yourself. I said, I don't care how many degrees that man has. He has not a clue what he's talking about. He lives in an um, epidemic area for Lyme disease, treating children. And he has no clue what he's doing. And two, now you understand why I'm doing what I'm doing, traveling all over New England under my purple tent, educating people because that happens to people every single day. They go into a doctor's office being told, there's nothing wrong with you. You really need psychiatric help. And they have Lyme disease. And they have Lyme disease. And I, if you knew the people that I meet every time I work, how sick they are. These people are watching this video right now. Oh my gosh. So what would you tell them? Keep your head up. Keep moving in a direction and listen to yourself. You have to listen to your heart. If you know there's something wrong, you have to keep going to a place, the next place, the next place, in hopes to get to a treatment that you can get to the bottom of it. So that being said, how well did your daughter do here? When I brought her here, 
she was, we'd already gone through doxas, well, we've gone through the antibiotics, nine weeks of antibiotics, six weeks of Chinese herbs, best she'd been since she was five years old for six weeks. Didn't want to put her back on antibiotics, so I donated my time for the ILADS conference, which happened to be in Boston, came home with the Cowden protocol. We did that for what, five months, Natalie, about five months? Five months into it, she's like, Mom, this isn't doing anything. And it was during one of my events that someone told me about Lyme laser. We had her slated actually that week to go to New York City to a new doctor. And I thought, you know, I'll just call and see what it's about. So it's a challenge with the food at first. She was 11 years old. And you also live two hours away. Two and a half, well, two hours, but with traffic, it's usually three. So we get pick her up at school at 1230. <laughs> And then we'd get home about 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Um, after phase one, I can see as a mom, I can see she feels better. Like I can see she's not where I wish she was, but she's definitely better. 100% um, in my heart, I know she's improved. She said after phase one, she felt 50% better. And you said that she'll continue to feel better. So, so what did we say, Natalie, today? 75. About we got a 75 time. out of her today. Cool. And we are probably two months into phase two. Yeah, I think we go through December. I so we're supposed to come through. I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive, but I think we have to keep coming through December. So we're, we're continuing to get better. Yeah. 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 Is this the best that you've seen her since you know yes. she's had Lyme? Correct. Or since five years old? Yes. And we're 12. And the attitude. Because a lot of hers, because she had sudden onset OCD after that, the glass was always half empty. And we still struggle with that sometimes. I'm like, honey, solve the problem. Like, think outside the box. So some of that could just be growing and learning. And some of it could be that these stupid spirochetes, you know, are doing, playing their nasty game. But it's definitely improved. Would you recommend this place to others? I do every time I work. So plug yourself again. What you All natural tick and mosquito repellent. I'm not going to get ticked. <laughs> I sell an all natural um, a tick and mosquito repellent for people, dogs. I have two different products. You can use them on humans or dogs. And people love this stuff, honest to God. It's stunning to me how it's gone viral. And I have more products coming. But a lot of what I do is public service. It really is. I, I can talk to somebody for a half hour. They don't buy anything. And then somebody comes up and buys four gift sets. So a lot of what I do is help people. We learned a lot the hard way, and my mission was to pass it on so they didn't have to learn the hard way. One of my favorite sayings in ours here is, you don't get Lyme till you get Lyme. That, she always said that. She used to just say, look at me and go, Mom, people just don't get it they until don't. they get it or somebody they love gets it. So the people watching this video understand exactly what we're saying. Mm -hmm. So let's hope they come and visit us here at Lyme Laser. Huh? Yeah. Cool.